Okay, so this just happened. Unfortunately, I didn't do an intro, so we're gonna watch from here. I'm casting along the beach, trying to get Giant Trevally. And I was like, oh, I'll start filming of a hookup. And this thing just went ballistic. Big top water Mac, how sick is that? I'm on bloody big, big Trevally. I'm letting it run out the back. Woo! Jesus! This is the fish we're after. Jesus. Whoa. That is the fish we came for. Worst thing is, I got these rocks here that I have to try and navigate this big ass fish over. Woo. This thing absolutely exploded out of the water. I just don't know how I'm going to get a fish this size over this rock bar. This rock bar is phenomenal. I'm trying to walk him up the beach away from these rocks to stand a chance of actually landing him. He's, he's going with me at the moment, which is good. He's behaving, but for how long? Need to keep him away from these rocks. He's gone for him. Here we go. Oh, we're right up against the rocks. I think we've got him over. We must have him on the sand by now, surely. I think I've successfully got him over the rocks. Here he comes, he's on this, oh, it's a big jig. But oh, I look a shark. No. Right, is it a cobia or a shark? How the hell did I catch that on this? What the hell? Are you serious? Look at that. I just caught a Spanish mackerel off the beach. You bloody kidding me. That is epic. What? This is x mouth at its finest. Look at the size of that thing. Off the beach. Woohoo! I just got this massive, massive Spaniard off the beach. What the hell? Look at the size of that thing. And I caught him. I caught him off the beach. Beach fishing. That is absolutely ridiculous. How's that even possible? Woo! I am amped as. This thing is phenomenal. An absolute horse of a fish. And now I've got to carry him back. I am not looking forward to that bit. Huh. I'm pretty bloody happy. That is an insane fish. Huge fish. Huh. Time to catch another one. I still can't believe this. What a fish. Look how healthy it is. It's so fat. What a Spaniard. Well, I've run out of light and I've got to carry that huge fish about 800 meters up the beach. So I'm going to be knackered but I'll try to get back with enough sunlight to be able to weigh him so you guys can see exactly how big this Mackie is. So that Mackie went 18 kilos off the beach. That's unreal. It'll be one of the most insane feats if I pull it off. I was here a couple of years ago and I found this big bommy just off the boat where you launch and it had a massive trout on it. So I'm gonna swim over to this bommy that was two years ago. I haven't been able to find the bomb me since because it's so hard to find this. But I'm going to see if that massive trout still lives on it.
So I noticed this shark struggling in the hole and only then did I realize that it had a partner trying to pull it back through the hole and then they both swam out. It was pretty cool, I'm guessing they were mating. So I've spotted a big trout, so I've gone down. As you can see, I'm just trying to balance up. I get the gun ready, and then I spot him in the hole, shoot him. Got the headshot, but unfortunately he's too big to get out of the hole. I struggle for a bit, but eventually I pull the spear out. It pulls out of his head, unfortunately. I bent the shaft when I pulled it out. So I had a shot at this trout, unfortunately with the bent shaft, and I missed. And then I spotted him in the bombie and I had to get this fish so he didn't die under there, so I took a dirty shot. But it was enough to hold the fish on the spear, and as you're about to see, the first shot was pretty good at through the gills, but this one wasn't that great. Bad shots aside, I still ended up with a beautiful trout, which was unreal for dinner. So there's baby, mum, dad. How cool is that? That's epic. Don't need someone to save me. No, and don't come running to blame me. From miles away, I can tell there's something. Looking how you pause when you talk I think you said enough You said you love for me something brand new You said this is something you would never do Here we are in a car Let me see who you are Who you really are, are yeah. Don't need you here to say you're sorry So we're just down in the Gulf. We're going blue bone fishing. We've got some rock crab and we're just chucking out the front of this mouth and we're going to try and catch some big dirty blue bone here. Let's see how this turns out. There we go. Big bait out for a tusk fish. Let's see what we get. Oh, I can see it out the back. Oh, it's not a tusky. It's silver. What the hell ain't that? It's not a tusky. Oh. If it's a tusky, I think it's a big queenie. Oh, yeah, it's Why is it taking... That's not what we wanted. <laughs> what the hell is it? It's a big fish, bud. That's good size. <laughs> oh, it's not the big blue we wanted. Oh, I think we've got a big permit. They're super rare. Can you... Oh, we're going to need to get a photo of this. So these are what fly fishermen spend ages trying to fish for. How the hell did I get that? Yeah, big permit. These are super rare. Like, rare as you can get. Now he's decided he wants to do a little bit. Big permit. Oh, that's a big fish. Yeah, I'll get him up the rocks without busting me off. He's got a bit of go to him. <laughs> That's awesome. No, all right, I'll get him up. That is sick. Okay, it's time to stop arguing, mate. Good fish. <laughs> They're super rare. I can see why fire fishermen like them. They just keep fighting, don't they? Look at the size of him. They're super, super rare. Oh, that is the cool fish. So just fishing for blue bone with crab and I just caught this awesome permit on crab. How good is that? 
catch anything in Exmouth. Five-o in the mouth. Beautiful. We gotta make sure you go. Mate, he'll just make his way slowly now. Yeah. Sweet. See you, bud. Well, let's actually get a blue bone. 